Hello everybody, Cone Dodger here, and welcome to episode 53 of Automation, the car company tycoon game. Today we're continuing on through the scenarios, the car scenarios that is. And last time we left off with... Come on game, you got this. You got this game. You got this game, there we go. Last time we left off with Brick Restoration, which was rather difficult, but uh, not impossible. Now we're moving on to another medium difficulty one. So in this challenge we are going to be taking a car company that is fresh out of the fall of the art and Iron Curtain and uh, looking to reestablish themselves as an independent car company before they get taken over by some crazy Koreans that want to ruin their company or anything like that. Uh, now, these lists of limitations and specifications lead me to believe this is going to be a very much so economy car. Safety more than 20, prestige more than 10. We get to use premium unleaded. Uh, top speed more than 93 miles per hour. Tameness more than 50. Economy more than 39.2 miles per gallon, so that's rather high. Comfort more than 23 isn't terrible. 67.50 total cost is rather low. Reliability more than 60 is pretty high. So, I honestly am not even entirely sure where to start. Uh, the year is 1991. Ladder or monocoque? I would say monocoque. Um, there's there is so little to go on here. I just I'm I'm a little bit lost, and I guess that is what makes these more difficult. Is they are less leading. So it might gives you less hints as to which direction you should be going. I am just going to go for regular steel. And I'm going to go for a longitudinal setup. For now, that may... No, no, I definitely think I want to go for longitudinal. We'll go for McPherson front, and... We will do a solid axle coil setup. We will drive and steel once again. So, our two bodies to choose from are the coupe, or the wagon. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the, well, let's see, comfort. Will that help our comfort if we have more interior volume? Possibly, possibly. So, let's do that. And I will modify this guy up and uh, give it some character. Alright, so here we go, nice simple looks, nothing nothing over the top, just trying to compete with uh, the rest of our European counterparts and have a nice, reliable, uh, stable looking design. So continuing on, uh, now I will find out that my, my choice of longitudinal setup was probably a mistake. Uh, now it looks like we'll be alright. Oh, we only have to make 93 horsepower, so that's not too crazy. Alright, so when we're talking about making 93 horsepower and getting 40 miles per gallon, uh, I'm probably thinking around the 1.8 liter in size. I'd like to have it a little bit of the large bore short stroke type. So that seems alright. Let's go all boring stuff down here. Boo, boring stuff. Oh, we got two tech to uh, use here. Nice. I was wondering if we were going to have any. Uh, I'm going to do overhead cam, three valve per cylinder. That's my general early 90s economy engine setup. Uh, and it seems to work pretty well. we'll go, we do have premium... Bleh, 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 words. Words are hard. Uh, premium fuel to use. We'll go with 9.2 mm, compression. And 35 on the cam profile. Try and squeeze out that economy. We do have EVT and VVL to choose from. Uh, we have one tech pool, so penalized quality minus one. I don't, I don't know exactly how that relates. So if somebody wants to to help explain that to me, uh, my understanding is I'm using that one tech pool. That means that 
I need to bump the quality up to one to otherwise negate the the effect of uh, reliability it would have of using this. Am I, am I am I reading that right? I don't really know. Uh, so if anybody see if I use this one now, I don't think I have that much tech pool available. And you see now at zero, it's negative one. Uh, so now if I go back to here, it's at zero. So we won't take a penalty for cost or reliability by choosing just the VVT. I don't know. Somebody help me out here. Uh, we'll do aluminum head. No, I'll go cast iron. It's got to be reliable. Uh, actually aspirated. Injection multipoint is available in 91. Very nice. No. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Standard. Premium unleaded. Let's go with a... Let's try and lean this thing out. 13.5. And give it just a little timing since we do have that 90.3 octane. Six grand sounds good. Short cast sounds good. Inch and a half, probably more than enough. Uh, emissions, emissions, emissions... Don't have them. No cat. Which would be a little unrealistic in 91, but we got a challenge to meet here. Uh, we'll do a re single reverse flow on there. Alright, let's give this a first try and see what happens. Well, so far I'm super happy with that. Uh, 103 horsepower, 116 foot-pounds. Let's look at our stats and see how we're doing. Uh, we have a lot of fuel octane left, so I might as well get all of that for its uh, economy's sake, because if you're not using all of the fuel octane available, then you're just wasting money. So let's go up a little bit on compression, and mostly I want to go up on timing, because that's pretty low. And more timing, better economy. So let's test that, and 88.1, still more to go, 79, we'll stop being immature, uh, 89, let's go up one more on a compression, 89.3, alright, you can see the economy is going up as I mentioned, 97, or sorry, 9.7, yeah, 97 compression, that'd be something, uh, there's 90 flat, okay, that is good enough. So let us continue on. We may have to go back to that later on. So we have a 1.8 liter 12 valve single overhead cam. We'll do a manual transmission. I'll go five speeds. That looks like our top speed is about 124. I'm not overly worried about that. Sportiness is not even a concern. So uh, the only reason to go that high is for the economy. All right. Now we have three quality there. Nice. Go for hard, long life, medium, compound. Uh, tameness is a big concern, so I'm going to go for the medium compound. Go for 195, 50s. That sounds good. We got two quality on this, too. So we have a lot of quality bumps. Uh, because this is such a long, long standing company, obviously they have the research done in a lot of this stuff, so. Uh, a lot of, a lot of choices there. Brake size will go for 10 inch, but with really, really, really comfortable pads. Uh, now that's kind of bit me in the past. So I'm gonna go with 20. Because eventually you do lose tameness in that because you just can't stop the car. Uh, back we'll go with nine ones. Continuing on. Uh, economy is important, so I'm going to go for a semi-clad setup. Cooling airflow, we only need 80. we got way more grill than that. Uh, we'll give it more so that it helps our reliability. And nothing else there. Four seats. Uh, I'm going to try four seats at first and see how that affects us. A comfort is important, so I would like a premium interior with a large amount of insulation. And premium entertainment with power steering ABS. Uh, safety, premium, safety more than 20, so standard might do it, we'll see. And comfortable, comfortable suspension setup at first. Oh, is there any? No, there's not, okay. 
All right, so here is our first look. Let's see how we do. Looks like we are actually rather close. I'll make it better. We're missing tameness and economy. Economy, huh? 35.8. So we have quite a ways to go there. Hmm, let me brainstorm for a few minutes and think of what I could do different. All right, so my first course of action was to go for 185 tires, and that gave us slightly better mileage, 36.1. Uh, I went down to 175s. Oh, wait. I must have missed. Uh, 185, 185 is what I wanted. Let's test that again. Uh, 36, oh, 37. Oh, no. Oh, interesting. So let me look at the yaw rate, and it looks like we are actually pretty far from tame. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And we're actually... We could, we could use more understeer, basically. Uh, so if we went for a staggered setup, it would help that. Yep, 38.6. Uh, but instead of going that way, I think I would rather... Uh, make it the wrong way. All right, nope. I want 175 fronts, 185 rear. There we go. So let's see what that gets us. Aha, 41.5, make it better. What was our goal there? Oh, 50. So, a long ways to go with that as well. But that brought our mileage up to 36.1. So, before even touching the engine, I've improved the mileage. Alrighty, so in regards to the engine, I want to make it more efficient. Less cam profile is better efficiency. However, then you lose out on your fuel octane rating. So, I'll have to lower the compression some. And that kept us within reason and improved our economy. Not a whole lot, but it did. Uh, now let's also go ahead and just make this engine a little bit smaller. We'll go down to a 1.6 liter. And, oops, that was the wrong button. Let's see. Ah, uh, that actually hurt our economy. Interesting. Interesting. One thing we could go for, since we have money left over, is a low friction cast piston. Let's see what that would do if it's strong enough. It is indeed, and it did improve our economy. Let's see what that does to our fuel mileage. Uh, so we'll go to trim. We'll go to test. We were at 36.1. Now we're at 39.8. So that was a huge improvement there. I uh, don't even have to touch the engine in any other way. Awesome. So that's the first time I've ever used those um, low friction cast pistons. They do have a use, so if you're uh, if you're ever working on a scenario like this and you're trying to get something to be super efficient, don't forget those pistons. Alrighty, so the only thing we have left is tameness. And I think, judging by the fact it's still not overly um, understeery, it's not pushing like a dump truck, let's do some things to maybe aid it along there. Maybe some of that. Uh, we're going to get... It's going to be real small steps doing stuff with that, so uh, i got to think of something something big. Let's go to detail stats. Let's go to tameness. We are there. And let's look for big penalties. Ah, the gearbox is a big penalty in tameness. What if we went with an automatic unit? It's going to hurt our efficiency. Uh, let's see if it kills our mileage. Oh, it actually improved our mileage. Awesome. Uh, and tameness is now up to 48.2. So what else are we hurting on? We are hurting on driver height. Nothing I can really do with their suspension options. It's a 15% penalty. Uh, interesting, interesting. Suspension options. 15% penalty. That is strange. Um, what is it if we do that? Make it better. That's still a 15%. I don't... I don't completely know why. Uh, that could be this stuff here. Or, if we go back, it could be... It could be stuff we did in the platform. Like this solid rear axle. Has a tameness of very low. This semi-trailing arm setup has a tameness of average. Let's try that. Oh, we've gone we've gone too expensive somewhere down the line. Oh no we didn't. Did I get bronzo? I did. Okay. 
So we're at 1146 of 1160 to get silver, so we're actually pretty close. So when I look at this, our reliability is 65.5, that's pretty good, that's well above 60. Uh, our cost is 67.22 on a 67.50 budget, so that's really close. Uh, economy is pretty good, it's, it's not way above, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot more economy out of this thing. Comfort more than 23, uh, we're at 37.8, that's pretty good above. Tameness more than 50, we're at 55.3, that's pretty good. I could maybe do some small things to improve that. Like, I went back to factory settings here. Uh, what if we make it understeer some more again? Uh, that doesn't indeed improve our tameness. It didn't make it any more comfortable, though, because obviously we stiffened it. Uh, so that's... Oh, we got a softer front spring. That's not what I wanted. Let's just take the rear bar out of it. Try that. Alright, 56, now we're getting closer, 1149. Uh, I want to do something to make it cheaper though, so let me look through here. Alright, so I've been looking around trying to get every last dollar out of this thing, and I just can't figure out how to get the cost down. Uh, so I think I'm going to try and look for something else. Tameness is one that uh, pays a pretty good amount of points, and is usually pretty easy. So let's look at the test track, and... Uh, where is breaking? 140 feet, 62 to 0. That's not great. Uh, what's your 0 to 60 like? 12.4. I think that's basically acceptable. It's really, really slow, but it's acceptable. Our top speed is high. We don't really need that much top speed. Um, let me try the breaking first. So let's... I already got 25 and 20. Any more than that is probably just... I want to make it too hard to drive. We'll try it though. 25. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we get two points on tameness but lose a point in comfort. So it's kind of one of those deals where it's not really much in that gain. So let's go down there. Uh, it's going to cost more, but let's try a larger disc size. Maybe they're overheating because the car is rather heavy. Uh, let's try that see oh oh wow that was a huge points improvement I uh, gained 26 points in tameness and that bumped us up to silver level alrighty so that is mission complete just with some larger breaks that one kind of stumped me for a while there that was uh they're definitely getting more difficult uh, overall probably not my favorite scenario I uh, I'm hoping maybe we get some more sports cars in the future here all of these boring sedans are are making me drag along. I want to build something exciting. Let's look at the next one. Next one. Oh, yes. Yes, supercar. <laughs> Alrighty, let's look forward to that one next time. We're going to build a car that will do 236 miles an hour. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I'll see you next time.